Congratulations to the graduates of class of 2020 who have made a profound achievement. Being an educator is all the way demanding, but our experiences throughout the past one and a half year tell an exceptionally challenging story. In a turbulent social context, education would never become the same again. Trust among people are being corroded. Teachers need to adapt to new modes of learning and teaching under the new normal. Well-being of students and teachers are at risk due to the threatening pandemic and deteriorating social economic environment. Yet, in the most challenging period of my education career, I have learned some lessons. The unconditional love and support from teachers towards our students to make a real difference. There have been times when children or youth faced acute difficulties, but those who are connected with their teachers and peers would have more capacity to transcend through adversities. In my school, teachers court parents and students regularly. Some worked as a team to organize online assemblies to bring the classmates together. A few even paid visits to their students. We care before we could teach. The new normal is widening the gap of academic and personal development among students with variable aptitude and social economic status. Those coming from the deprived background are further limited by their constraints. The ones lacking motivation to learn might give up more readily during suspension of classes and various learning activities. We need the best people to serve the struggling children and youth. We need educators who have got a mission to nurture potentials of the young generations, to equip them with solid knowledge and skills ready for further studies and future careers, and to develop moral and civic values that determine who they are and how they would live their lives. Missions give us the sense of direction. Yet, it is commitment and heart to serve that drive us forward. The voice of the children and youth is heard. Who will go for them? I hope you will say, here I am.